guys nick here automotives on instagram and uh, my first video i want to do like an in-depth walk around on my dotson because i did a daily transmission episode and uh you know there's a lot of stuff that i didn't get to touch on because you know videos can't be 40 minutes long so i figured i'd do my youtube my first youtube channel would be like a, a little more walk around with some stuff that you may or may not have seen and just another reason to show it off i love it it's my baby you know um, if you haven't seen the episode, uh, it was awesome. It was a cool time. I definitely recommend checking it out. And I'll put a link in the description so you can. And uh, this intro is being recorded after the fact, as you can tell. The car's behind me. It's not in the driveway uh, because my first intro was garbage. So I figured I'd just start over. So, well, I hope you like it. And let me know what you think. I don't know, 72 Dotson 510. One of the things I didn't get to talk about in the video is the, the engine bay. I mean, we touched on it a little bit, but as you can see, it's a house of color, Pavo purple. Um, hopefully, the camera does it justice. You can see the flake. But I actually painted it right here in my garage. Painted it right here. Obviously, this car wasn't in here, but cleaner in any aspect. I feel like I'm not good. I'm not saying it's great but I did it myself. I did it over Christmas and it was raining. And yeah, it was an experience. But you know, I got the color down, it looks good. Um, there's some questionable spots and some color fading because I have the hood off and you know, I, it's cleared. It's house of color out of a spray can. And then I cleared over it. But if you see, it looks good, like it bangs. I love it. And then, you know, like this stuff's powder coated, valve cover's powder coated. Um, intake motor mounts are powder coated and that was actually the next thing I wanted to talk about um, my suspension I talked about in the video I have 280ZX struts in the front uh, my cross member uh, TC rods everything's uh, cross member lower control arms are adjustable I'm on S13 camber plates and I actually had all of it powder coated so I'll show you when I get under there so you can check it out so I actually had it all powder coated to match see the coil the coil the strut the TC rod everything and then as you can tell I have hearts and my wheel wells so my my HID ballast are mounted under here so this is actually out of a police car, a charger. I mean, it's not specific to that. It's just a Wayland LED lamp, but I got it wired up. And then I did this ducting. It's just so that we can get fresh air straight to the intake. And um, I did an LED ring, which I'll show you a little later. I did all this myself. Well, not all of it. I did the, my girl actually cut the, Helped me design the shape. I cut them out, and my buddy, Japan Auto Engineering, he actually welded them up for me because I don't have a welder. I know how to weld a little bit. I'm not the greatest. I'm not the greatest at it. You know, I need practice. I need to buy a welder, and then I'll be good. But I like to fabricate, so it's like, you know what I mean. But I needed it done when I was doing the car. And yeah, so I had a buddy do it that I knew was good. So I did the heart light and a turn signal. So running light, it lights up purple. I did uh, 12 volt uh, UV LEDs. And then when you turn on the turn signals, it lights up white. So it looks pretty dope. There's some vinyl in it to give it a little bit of extra pizzazz, whatever you want to call it. Um, rest of the car, like I said, we touched on this. This is all metal. Made this a few years back. It's all metal. And uh, wings also made out of metal, which as you can see is not the prettiest. I never finished it. It kind of just like got it white and like left it alone. Um, XXRs, XXR 532s in the rear, Roto grids in the front. These are uh, 1680, those are 1580. I have to run 195 45s in the rear because it rubs. Four door 510s. You, to sit low, you gotta cut this out. So yeah, I don't recommend this as in don't leave it open, but I never welded it up. So, kind of need to get on that. But yeah, it actually rubbed right here. So you got to cut all this crap out and weld it up back up. But we had welded up the other side and it still rubbed. So that's why I hadn't done this side yet. I really should get on that though for it. 
rust out. <laughs> oh, so if you watch the, if you watch the Hoonigan video, then you saw me crash, obviously. Um, it wasn't that bad. I didn't bump the tail light. You can tell tail lights are perfectly fine. All I did was mess up the quarter panel and busted this side marker. So the plastic you saw was a side marker. These things are like 20 bucks on eBay. Not a big deal. So I took the most of the body damage out. You can see right here, still pretty bad. But I mean, it was already messed up. The quarter panel was already messed up. So it doesn't really look that much different. And it kind of adds to the character of the car. Like I like having the car beat up and you know, that's a story. I didn't put the sticker there, one of the guys did. And it's, so it's just, like I said, like, it's forever tattooed by the up this side. This, we wrote when we did the fender. Like I said, it's welded up. But see, I'm rubbing, so it's burning it. Um, we found out that the previous owner remade this whole section out of Bondo. Like, look how thick that is. You know, so. Um, actually the second owner, too. And this guy told me that when he got this car it had never been an accident and we see this stuff and i'm like this guy was like a magician with bondo because i could not tell it was like this my dad couldn't tell nobody could tell and then like i said we cut it and then we're like oh we got to get rid of some of this bondo and then i was like dude this is ridiculous but oh well you know what are you gonna do i'm not worried about it i got some plans for this real wheels you know i don't you know but um Real wheels and these sizes cost money. Don't really have money, you know what I mean? Like I don't have much money, so I just do what I can. I'd rather drive it and get it running and stuff. Wheels are on the list though, so wheels will hopefully soon. And I have a set of Hayashi commands that I'm hit up the homie Love Tony B. Shout out to him, badass dude, does good ass work. He's an awesome guy. So I'm gonna have him uh, upsize me. My Hayashis are 14 by six, like plus 10, and I want to go like uh, 15 by nine like negative five because right now I'm running a three mil spacer in the front and it because zero touches the strut so obviously I just I don't want to run spacers like I want to not have to run spacers bolt the wheels on done so when that happens I like, so I like to stay low I want to stay low I want to stay tucking tire so this thing's gonna end up probably getting a flare but a steel flare because I'm not there's nothing wrong with bolt-on flares. Like, they're awesome. I like them, but I just don't want them. You know what I mean? Like, that's understandable, right? You know? So, that's the plan for the rear. And I'm sure it'll have to get cut up into the door to make it look legit. You know? So, uh, next stuff you didn't see on the inside. So, my headliner, which I wanted to show off. Headliner was crap. So, took it out and I cleaned it and this is the roof skin and we just wrapped it in purple. So you can see I got purple on my drip rails. So I just got vinyl wrap and wrapped the bottom of the roof and this is actually a flat metallic. So as you can see it bangs, it's dope. So I just wrapped it in flat to make it look like I had a headliner. So I, I talked about this a little bit in the video. This is like my, my command center that I was talking about. Um, all the electronics are in here. Sorry, it's a little messy right now because I was messing with it, but uh, got rid of my heater core and actually mounted my ECU, obviously, mounted in here. And then there's a couple of stock relays. And then for, you know, to wire it, this is a Can Am box. Pretty much every Dotson guy knows about this. It makes life so much easier. It's like, I think it's like 200 bucks somewhere. I don't know. I got mine for like a hundred. It was used, but um, you just wire it up to the factory wire of the engine harness, a couple wires from the chassis, and you're good to go. So highly recommend a Can-Am box if you don't already have one. And then plug this. That's my light. Anyway, so yeah, so I shortened the harness a little bit, the engine harness a little bit, because obviously it was too long. And then that's a ground lug. And then this is just for like all the other accessories, fuses and relays for all the other accessories. Like I said, sorry, it's a little messy, but. And then, yeah, so these are actually hinge doors. Um, 
hinged at the firewall. Bolts up, look clean. That's this, sorry, that's a little disaster right there. But yeah, this is my main power for my battery. My battery's mounted in the trunk, obviously. Main power lug goes to here, and then powers the electronics, and then a main wire goes from here to the starter. That way, that's, it's as clean as can be. Is I had it and it's kind of laggy and I liked it so I got rid of my van. Stock stereo would go there so I actually made it to I put magnets on the back of this plastic and I just shoved my phone right here. Uh, here. See it. It's the Bluetooth amp. Controller for that's right here. Bluetooth amp. So dope. No head. No uh, head unit. Four speakers. Two right here. Two box speakers. Shelf speakers in the back. And it sounds freaking awesome, and I love it. So highly recommended, Kenwood. Part numbers right there. They're discontinued, but you can still find them. So highly recommend this thing. This thing's dope, and it's really dirty. But anyways, uh, NRG carbon bucket. I think I talked about that in the video. Just mounted. I end what I ended up doing outside. So I mounted this really thick plate steel, um, just straight to where the stock seat bolts and then bolted the bucket to it. And that's it, both seats. One's a little farther forward, so that way someone can sit back here. And then these harnesses are on the quick latch, whatever you want to call it. Um, the quick release latches, so that way you can use the stock seat belts on it. Clear hang ring, let's call it a clear hang ring. And I did LEDs, you can see right there, it's not the most amazing, but LED so I could actually light it up purple. Um, I have I have LEDs, and it's the purple LEDs, uh, purple underglow, and then purple in here. But it's wired as my third brake light, so two of those LEDs are red, and it does a flash. I have a little flash module, and it'll, it will it flashes like three or four times before it gets all this uh, aluminum radiator. My uh, engine harness runs through here and I wrap it in purple and that's pretty much it. I mean, nothing crazy. Fuel, fuel delivery is um, stock tank, 300 fuel pump, 300 ZX fuel pump inside. I had to make a main feed. I forgot what size, it was a long time ago. I made a main feed line um, and then I used the stock line as a return. And then just to an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator. Um, and that's it. So, uh, one last thing. I actually ended up coming out with this shirt right here. K all day. Super dope. Has the dual cam, single cam valve covers. I made these shirts and slaps. And if you copped one already, I appreciate it. And I hope you love it as much as I do. You know, like, uh, I was super stoked when I got mine and started rocking it. I've already gotten, like, you know, out in the streets, like, oh, which one do you got, dual cam or single? And it's like, it's really cool. Like, you know, so many people can relate. Um, the, the response from the 240 community and the K community was awesome. Like, everybody loved it, you know. Uh, so you know, it was a good feeling, you know. So, like I said, if you copped one, I appreciate it. I hope you like it. If you haven't, I still got a bunch. Hit me up on Instagram. Check out uh, danger.bigcartel.com. I'll put the link here and get you one you know what i mean so but like i said this is my first video i plan on making more different things going on with other cars here and thanks for watching and hope you check out the next video